Hey, babe, what you doing? Van mods. So if you watched our first video on the van tour, we said that we weren't really into biking that often. So what we're gonna do today, and by the way, I still have not smacked my head on this yet. So mission accomplished. So we're gonna take this down and we're actually gonna put a storage container on the back where we're gonna have dirty laundry and then garbage. Got one down, three to go. So we're gonna do two up top here, one here, one over there, and then two on the bottom as well. So what we did is we took a couple of U-bolts, we got a washer plate on the other side and a nut, and then we have another piece of plywood here to reinforce it, two washers, two compression washers, and then two nuts. So day two here, yesterday we lined up the top bolts and we realized that we had to glue this piece of plywood down to prevent it from sliding when we're trying to line up the bolts in the bottom. So we spray painted it, glued it, let it dry overnight, and now we're gonna line up these two bottom bolts with the bottom bracket here cut holes in and then um, bolt it down. We have to get longer U-bolts to the bottom. They wouldn't reach all the way through the two layers of plywood in the container. So we're gonna go back to the store and hopefully get all the mods done today. We'll see. Apart from the glue that we used, we found a little rubber pad we had a line around. Three eighth inch piece of plywood we cut, spread this weight across the whole bottom. We used four of these U-bolts and then we actually put nuts, washers, these plate washers on the bottom and compression washers on each side. It's definitely over designed. We're pretty sure we'll double check, but I think this bike rack supports 50 pounds. We'll have links in the description for all of the material we use, where we found this tub. The tub actually fits perfectly up here. And then check out our first video with the van tour where I talk about how the bike rack actually was kind of falling apart when we first got it. We noticed piece after piece started missing from this thing. I heard some rattling in the back of the van. So even if you're using this to ride your bike, just make sure everything's nice and secure. I kind of touched on that last time, but check it out. We ended up drilling a couple of holes in the bottom here too, in case water collects in there. Don't want to weigh it down so it'll drain out. She's uh, nice and snug now, so ready to hit the road. Okay, so we have the full collapsible ladder. It's pretty heavy, it's pretty large and cumbersome, so to find a place that actually would fit, we decided we're gonna try to hang it like this, right here. So this kind of fits perfectly because the indent for the window. Hopefully screwing into this is fine. We have seen on the forums that other people have done it and it's been okay. So we've already measured where it needs to go, so that's what these little tape marks are for. And then we put this little dot and we know where we're going to put this just like utility hook that we got at the hardware store. So we're going to put that there and then we have these red ones. They're not flat, they have like a little bit of a flare to the edge. So we're going to put those in the bottom just to kind of support this a little bit to take a little bit of weight off of that top one. We're going to pre-drill here just so we prevent it from splintering the finish. I got a little extra piece of 3 8 inch plywood at the back this side up here just to give it a little more strength and a little more to hold on to. Last minute modification, we realized that this little closet in the bathroom's a perfect spot for one of these five gallon bottles of water. But we drink a lot of water. This holds 27 gallons of water. We want to keep all that for showering, bathroom, kitchen type stuff. We're sacrificing this closet but there is a lot of storage space inside here. We've done a couple of trips so far, haven't had an issue with the storage, haven't really used this closet yet. So we're gonna try this. If it doesn't work out, we can obviously at any time kind of switch it out, but it's a perfect fit, so we're gonna try it out. Let me get my squats in. We still have plenty of room actually in here for storage in the back of this and also on the side. And then we even have room up here that we could just, you know, hang some little stuff. And then we probably will do something about these screws from the modification for the ladder, just so nothing pokes into them. Now we got this little pump. They did have ones that you could like charge and it looked like it, they made it a little cooler, but we're not gonna be always hooked to power. So we figured just manual old pump would be much better for the purpose that we're doing. So we're gonna put this on top now and see how that goes. Probably get some tray just so this doesn't get soaking wet and then maybe get some type of box to keep this in. Next, we're gonna secure the water bubbler to the back of the van. So I got a little piece of extra decking I had. I put in five decking screws. We're gonna mount that to the wall, making sure they're short enough. They're not gonna go through and hit the bathroom door. Then two eye bolts to bungee around the bubbler. We've got this, it just has a sticky piece, so we're just gonna stick it on. It did come with screws, so if it falls off, we'll screw it on later. So we put it here. We were gonna originally put it up here, but then we figured if we were using the stove, we don't really wanna have paper towels above it. So it just made more sense to put it over 
um, on this side. Anything anywhere that can fall, it will. So we've got these little bags and we've got little just coming in hooks. We're gonna do this up here and then that will allow us to put like fruits and vegetables and just little stuff that you don't want to put in a bag or in the fridge because it makes more sense. So we'll do that. We're gonna do one this way and then we're gonna do the one the other way just so no matter what way it's swaying it's not gonna fall off. Best place really makes the most sense is just hang them here. So of course we're using the stove or something we will be taking them down but to avoid the constant rattle of some things we got these felt pads and we're gonna put these everywhere that we notice there's either rubbing rattling or just seems like something could go wrong so first thing would be this that happens when you're driving so we're gonna put a felt pad in the front of here and in the back of here and hopefully that'll just take care of that so I'm taking this circle on and I'm just gonna put it right behind here and hopefully that will do the trick So this actually wrap shakes a lot and it's probably because we're missing a little piece right here. So we're gonna try to just use that for now. It's already quieter it seems like. The real test will be when we're driving. So this is our table that we normally will have up but when it's down it sits here which is super convenient except this is how it sits in. And they've got these screws that stick out and so if you push this too far left or right what it does is it scrapes the table on it and then we keep getting dings in the table so we're going to put some felt pads here just so that doesn't happen but that seems like it'll work for now it'll probably fall if at some point maybe we will come up with a better idea or if you've come up with a better idea please let us know because this is all we came up with after three months back to the command ships we got these ones because they were the strongest ones we could find and then we've got our power cord which is kind of large cumbersome we've got these wraps around it and we're gonna put these back here because this is kind of a wasted space and then we're going to hook the carabiners to this to actually fit over that so they'll hang up like that let's see if it works we got these little multi-purpose baskets that we're going to actually hook up right here just so we can throw like our phone glasses little things um while you're sleeping so they're not just kind of rolling around in the bed and this is what they look like and they'll just they have little stickies on them so we're going to stick them up but then there are also um little screw holes i don't know if you can see in there's screw holes um and they come with little screws so we'll probably just screw it up just so that doesn't fall on us while we're sleeping useful all right, so if you watched our van tour video, you'll see that we had those big cumbersome blocks for the windows. So it takes up a lot of room in the van and we're trying to find as many compact items as we can. What we've come up with now, which we're not in love with, but it'll work for right now. We have a black sheet and we're actually going to attach it to, we're gonna put little hooks and we're gonna attach it here. So we can just hang up the sheet really quick, throw on the dashboard so we don't lose all of this space. Um, and then hopefully when you fold it up, it'll fit really nice. And if you haven't seen the van tour video, just check the link above. Thanks for tuning in to our first van modification video. If you guys have any more recommendations or things to do, let us know and we'll catch you next time.